Hi guys, welcome back to another Android tutorial. Today we're going to be working with gestures. And a uh, gesture is something like uh, a swipe, maybe you want to uh, fling. Uh, for instance, if you, if you grab your screen with your finger and then fling up, maybe it'll do something. Or you can scroll down through maybe like a web page. Um, so let's get started. I've already deleted the hello world that was originally here. I placed in a large text. Now if I click this and scroll down, I renamed this to message for the ID. So I just wanted to kind of preliminarily do that, uh, save us a little bit of time. Now for gestures, we're going to need a few different things. Um, first of all, let's go to the SDK manager. And that always runs in the background. Okay, now if you scroll all the way down to where it says extras, you want to make sure that you have installed the Android support library. It shows here that I have an update, but I know it's installed because I have this checked in where it says installed. Um, so first we're going to need that. You probably already have that downloaded, but we can't use it yet. Uh, what we need to do is we need to right click over here on app and go down to open module settings. And if we go into dependencies, we can see that it's not here. So we need to add that support library. So you click this little green uh, plus button, and then you add library dependency. And the one that we need is support-v4. So go ahead and select that and click OK. You'll see that it pops up here. And then click OK. So now we just added that library as a dependency. Now we can use it. OK, so let's go over to our Java code. And now we need to import a few things. All right. Uh, libraries. OK, so let's import. First, we used a widget. So Android dot, uh, widget. Oh, that was going to finish it for me. And it was a text view. Next, import Android. That view that it's called motion event so that's going to be handling uh, motion events obviously so like the scrolling up and down the fling and we also have to import Android this is a long one support if I can spell it dot v4 and it's view and gesture detector compat All right, so now we have everything we need to continue. All right, so now we need to add a few different things. We need to implement implement a few things here. So type implement, implements, sorry, and gesture detector. Um, yeah, it's just gesture detector. Dot on gesture listener. So it's pretty obvious what that one does. It listens for the events and handles them. And I put a comma there. I'm going to hit enter. And we also need to implement gesture detector dot on, uh, what is it doing here? That's a capital O. On gesture double tap listener. So this one handles a few more things. Um, obviously, double tap is one of them. And we're going to go over those in just a second. But the reason that this is showing up underlined red is because we're saying if we're implementing these, we need to be able to use them. Otherwise, there's no reason to implement them. But we'll get to that in just a second. Right now, I want to create a few objects. The first one we're going to create is a private, um, let's see, it's a text view. Uh, why am I commenting that? I uh, will create objects. So private and text to view. And we'll call it just message, like what I called it over in the ID. That works for me. And also we need to get a, what am I doing? <clears throat> private gesture detector compat. And we can just call this like 
You could call it X if you wanted to, but I'm going to call it my gesture. All right, so now we have our private variable object set up. And now over in the on create, we're going to do a few different things here. I'm going to create a little space for myself. And so now we want to create a reference to our object. And so we have a message equals text view. Um, what do we want to do? Find view by ID. You guys remember how to do this from a previous tutorial. So now we have a reference to uh, that text view reference to this guy here. All right, so we have that set up. Now the next thing we want to do is this that my gesture equals new gesture detector compat, and we're gonna put in the parameters this and this. So let's say number one. We'll call this number one, and this is just the context. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there, the context, uh, the application context. And two is the next one. And this is um, the listener. So uh, let's see. This is going to handle like the callbacks. Um, invoke for callbacks. And this one actually cannot be set to null. Well, let me go ahead and close that off. This cannot be set to null because it's going to be basically it's going to be handling all of our gestures now, including like the the basic one that comes with Android Studio. There's always one that's uh, working already. So I mean, you can already click on things without having to make this new gesture detector. So there's already one that's implemented um, by default. So we're actually going to have to deal with that in a little while. Otherwise, it's going to say, oh, we don't know what's going on because you're clicking and we're defaulting to the original one that's already set up. So we're going to have to tell it to say, hey, we want to use this new one that we're creating. But let's uh, let's finish this. My gesture dot set on double tap listener and this again, where this is also um, a listener. Uh, let's say this, uh, this listener. All right, cool. So we've got that all set up. All right, now there's a special thing I'm going to do here. And what it is, is I'm going to hold down the Alt key, then I'm going to press Insert. And then I'm going to go down to delegate methods. And now what this is going to do is it's going to basically paste in all the methods for me. And this is not what I wanted. This is not what I wanted. I'll insert implement methods, sorry. And so we can see here that the gesture detector on double tap listener has on double tap, the double tap event, and then it's going to confirm also the double tap. And then the other gesture detector that we implemented, it's got the on down, fling, the long press. So if you hold down the, you know, put your finger on the screen, then you keep it there on scroll. So basically, we're going to click OK, and it's going to throw all these in there for us. It saves us a little time. OK, so here they are. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is we wanted to return something. Uh, so we're going to have our message um, set the text. And we're going to say, just to keep it fun, we're going to say on double tap. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and do this for the rest of them. So I'm going to pause the video. So why don't you guys go ahead and finish that up. Um, just whatever it says up here, have the message set that text. All right, welcome back. So now we have all of our message set text set to um, whatever their method was. So that's great. So now it'll show us what we're doing when we're doing it. The next thing we want to do is we want to return true 
for all of these. And the reason is we want to say, hey, this event's been handled. We don't want any errors to pop up in the future. So we'll make sure that this is saying that they're all handled. OK, that should do it. And one last thing before we can get this to work. I mentioned this a little bit earlier. But basically, we have to override the method that detects the original um, tapping motions. So we're going to hold down the Alt button and press Insert again and go to Override Methods. And we can sort these ascendingly or descendingly. And we're going to go Find On Motion Event. Or wait, is it on, it's on Touch Event, sorry. And there it is, On Touch Event. Okay, so here's our original method that handles all the touch events for us. So now what we want to do is want to say this dot my gesture or whatever you named it dot on touch event, and then in the parameter we're gonna throw an event. Now you can keep this one here if you want, but either way the method has to return something because it's a boolean has to return a true or false. So you can comment this one out if you want. It's nice to keep the original code there. And return this at my gesture on touch event. OK, and that's it. That's all the code we need to do. So go ahead and save it. And we're going to run it. OK, never had to get mine booted up. So here it is. So let's go find. Oh, what? Oh, okay. It was slower than I was. Okay. So here it is. So large text. Now I'm going to click. I'm going to hold down on long press. Now if I start down here and kind of go up and then release, it'll fling. If you could go down slowly and it'll scroll. If you click once, It'll do the single tap, and then it'll say the single tap's been confirmed. You can double tap, and then it'll say on double tap event. Well, it'll say on double tap, and then on double tap event. It's kind of quick, hard to see. But that's it, guys. That's all there is to it. See you next time.